So when we start talking about um, polling and surveys and experiments, uh, one of the first things we need to talk about is the idea of a population uh, and a sample. And so the basic idea is the population is the who we're interested in. Who are we studying? Uh, so for example, if we were studying the amount of money spent by, st uh, spent on textbooks by a typical first-year college students, the population would be, um, all first-year students, right? Students, uh, or more appropriately, first-year students, uh, you know, at a college. Now, it could be different populations depending upon what our research is. It could be just the students at your college. It could be the students at all colleges in the state of Washington. It could be all students in any college in the U.S. It could be students only at public colleges or at private colleges. And so we really want to be clear about who our experiment uh, is trying to talk about, who the population of our study is. Now usually, if we are doing an experiment or a poll, we really can't afford to talk to everyone. If we could, then we would be doing a census. That's where we, uh, talk to everyone. And, uh, you've probably heard of the census before, because the U.S. does one every 10 years to try to figure out how many people there are by talking to everyone. And obviously, that's really expensive. Uh, so very rarely do we do this. Usually, we talk to a small group of the, uh, population, and that's called the sample. The sample is who we pick from the big population to actually talk to, uh, and, and, and study. So let's look at a couple examples. So suppose a newspaper website contains a poll asking people their opinion on a recent news article. What's the target population of this poll? Now, there's a couple different answers here. Statistics you'll find, uh, isn't always concrete in its answers. Um, so one possible answer is that they were trying to make this representative of all Americans or all people. But chances are, that's not who it's actually representative of, right? Who is actually going to answer a poll on a newspaper website? Chances are that the population is readers of the website. Right? Because who else is going to be, uh, who else is going to be answering those questions? And so in this case, the target population is really readers of the website. Uh, any attempt to, uh, suggest that those results reflect beyond the website, uh, is really tenuous. Now, when we collect data, and the type of data that we tend to collect are things like, uh, averages or, you know, the maximum, uh, you know, the amount of money that people spend or, uh, median housing price or something like that. Uh, there's two, depending upon whether we're looking at a population or sample, there's two different, uh, types of things we get. If we're talking about a population, so if we ask everybody, if we do a census, then the data that we collect is called a parameter of the population. If instead, we are looking at a sample, and we a and we collect data from the sample, the information we get is called a statistic. Statistic. A statistic. Uh, so a statistic tells us something about a sample, a parameter tells us something about the population. So suppose a researcher wanted to know how citizens of Tacoma felt about a voter initiative, so they go to the Tacoma Mall and randomly select 500 shoppers and ask them their opinion. Uh, 60% indicate that they're supportive. What is the sample in population? So our sample here is the 500 shoppers, right? The population, it, well, ideally, it is citizens of Tacoma, but, uh, more realistically, it's probably mall shoppers, which may not be representative of all of population. The 60% value came from our sample, and so it is a statistic, not a parameter, because that value comes from the sample.